back to the jam-packed worldwide arena and during the break neither mike nor i were able to find out any information about what went down with kenny chaos and bobby eaton there's a story there the two men had been a tag team and it was really a short-lived situation because as we saw in that matchup where kenny chaos really took it to bobby eaton there's some problems there's some friction between those two men very definitely as the k-dog conan makes his way to the ring here on Worldwide. And speaking of personal problems and friction, Conan still has something to prove to members of the NWO oh, yeah, Wolfpack. Oh, here again, so yo, 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 let me speak on this. Orale! Arriba la raza! Yo, don't put in the black and white because I'm going to have a death by life, but cannot. Yo sigo siendo un vato loco forever. But more importantly than all that, we party about it. And... Oh, yeah. The K-Dog, who next weekend will team with Rey Mysterio Jr. to take on the team of Kevin Nash and Lex Luger at Super Brawl. But it's more than just a tag match, Mike much more than a tag team match when you look at the stipulations involved conan's partner ray mysterio jr is going to put up his life his tradition right everything that mask means to him the hood goes on the line in a hair versus mask match ray mysterio jr puts his mask at stake against are you ready for this the hair of miss elizabeth whoa the valet of Kevin Nash and Lex Luger. He could look like Chad Fortune. Or Conan. Exactly. Can you imagine Liz with a head like Chad Fortune or Conan? It may very well happen come Super Brawl 9. Either that or Rey Mysterio Jr. loses that ceremonial mask. Now Chad Fortune opening up on K-Dog, putting the boots to the back of Conan. Oh, oh. The early offensive from Chad Fortune, the former football player college ball at the University of Louisville and three years pro in the National Football League and he's really turned up the heat here in the early going. Oh, high knee on Conan and Chad Fortune. One half of the WCW pit crew tag team. His partner, Dale Torborg, still on the shelf. Nursing a knee injury is supposed to be back next month during the month of March. Conan. Shoots Fortune in. Him toss out of the corner from the K-Dog. Charges in. Misses the clothesline. Bulldog from Conan. Great go behind that time. Conan able to switch up. Go behind Chad Fortune. Catch him with the Bulldog. Follows up with a snap mayor and that drop kick from in tight. Oh, the basement drop kick from Conan. Just level Chad Fortune. Now working on that left arm. Sets him up. What a submission maneuver, but Fortune... Hanging outside the ropes, referee Billy Silverman will call for the break. Not a surprise that Conan would focus his attention on the arm of Chad Fortune, trying to wear down, well, first the arm as well as the leg. You know that he wants to do that in an effort to set up that Tequila Sunrise submission hold. Working over the left arm into the wrist lock. Oh, Fortune raking the eyes of Conan. Forearms across the upper back of the K-Dog. Now, Fortune in control here on Worldwide. Rolls him over. Fortune begs him, drops the elbow across the chest. A little slow to follow up that time. The rookie Chad Fortune. He's able to drop the elbow. Oh! Showboats and then drops down with a fist. A big right hand delivered to the top of the head. Fortune about 6'6". Six, six, and when he drops that fist, it's coming from way up top. Going in. On his back, the leg drop from Chad Fortune. Lateral press, doesn't hook the leg, only got the one count. Still plenty of fight left in K-Dog. He was easily able to kick out of the pinfall attempt by Chad Fortune. Fortune remains in control, scooping a mid-ring slam. Planted it. Fortune. Back into the corner. Looks like he's going to go to the middle rope. No, he's going up top. The big 6'6", former tight end, goes up top. But Conan cuts him off, so to speak. Conan had a message for Chad Fortune. Fortune out of the corner. Conan able to duck the clothesline. And into the DDT. Conan. Lateral press. Two count on Chad Fortune. Conan sets him up. Once again goes back to the shoulder into the arm. Look at the weight distribution by Conan. Also look at the ring positioning. Nowhere for Chad Fortune to go. 
Fortune would not tap out. Conan doesn't waste any more time. Shoots him across. Oh, Conan walked into the boot to the chest. Fortune, double thrust to the throat. I think the boot grazed him, but then Fortune came running out of the corner and leveled Conan. Puts the boots to the back of the head of the K-Dog. Next weekend, K-Dog will team with Ray Mysterio Jr. Ray Jr.'s mask is on the line. It was not too many years ago that Conan lost his mask south of the border in a mask versus hair match. And when I first heard about that match, I really thought that Conan and Rey Mysterio Jr. were in for an uphill struggle, and well, I still do. I thought they had bit off more than they could chew, but I think that Kevin Nash and Lex Luger are in for the fight of their lives at Super Bowl. No question about it. When you're fighting for tradition, you're fighting for the mask of the Lucha Libre. That's what Conan and Rey Jr. will Here be fighting is. for next weekend. That's at the tail of Sunrise on Chad Fortune. He couldn't hang on. He tapped out, and Conan wins it here on Worldwide. Conan stakes out the arm of Chad Fortune, then hooks the leg in the half Boston Crab. It's academic from that point. Referee Billy Silverman checks, and Chad Fortune taps out immediately. And as of yet, no one has been able to kick out or withstand more than at least 30 seconds of punishment from the Tequila Sunrise. From the former member of the NWO Wolfpack, the current K-Dog, Conan. He'll team next weekend with Ray Jr. to take on Kevin Nash and Lex Luger at Super Bowl 9 from Oakland, California. Mike, this one is worth another look in our Skittles Bite Size Candies replay. Skittles, taste the rainbow of fruit flavor. Look at the impact on the clothesline. Conan rolls through. That sets up his favorite submission hole. The Tequila Sunrise and Chad Fortune tapped out. For Mike today, I'm Scott Hudson. Let's send it back to the studio with Tony and Larry. Thanks a lot, guys, for the call of our double main event. Living legend, it seems, when you think about what Scott Steiner has been doing to Kimberly and DDP, and now what Hollywood Hogan and one of his Hollywood actor buddies have been doing now and stalking Ric Flair's son, David, that the NWO has taken this away from the ring and making it very personal in the lives of some of the great athletes in WCW. Tony, psychological warfare. If you can't beat the enemy on the battlefield, you beat them in their minds. And that's what the New World Order is doing. They've gone underground. Nobody trusts anybody. And the New World Order is doing anything they can outside the ring to ruin emotional control, to ruin focus. They want to take over WCW again. Next week, of course, Super Brawl weekend. A big update on the big card coming up on the 21st. And Mean Gene will be with us with a rundown of the card and some more exclusive interviews. For the living legend, Larry Zabisco, I'm Tony Chivani. We'll see you next week on WCW Worldwide Wrestling.